Welcome to the Hayden Cabin. This is Hammond's Museum. It is a 1927 log cabin and was one of the earliest accommodations in the area. Please come on in. And here we have the kitchen. Largely original. This was a sort of bed and breakfast. It operated as a business during the summertime and they provided beds, meals, and hunting and fishing guide service for visitors. This is some of the earliest accommodations in Mammoth Lakes. Yeah, what kind of food would be prepared here? Well, you had to go catch it, didn't you? This was a hunting and fishing lodge. They largely ate what they caught. Meals were provided. They kept a stock of goods, but uh, by and largely people expected to eat what they caught. And the track slips off the canyon and my shoe they You'll notice that um, they have we have a lot of the same influence today, but we've turned it into electronic gadgets. You know, people used a hand mixer. We put it in a blender. And now, uh, how do they uh, get water? Well, they either brought it in from the creek or they used this pump, but they had to have, keep a bucket of water handy and prime the pump. You had to have a little water to get the water to fl flow through the system. So it wasn't a pressurized water system like we're used to. It was very primitive and uh, if the pump failed, then you had to go get a bucket of water from the creek and prime the pump. <laughs> this is the ice room. We used to cut ice from the lake's basin and pack this room full of ice. It was like a giant cooler. And they would take a block or so each day or two and put it into the wooden ice box, which was sitting in the kitchen, but now sits in the, what's used as a pantry. Notice the thick insulated door. And what about the rest of the house? Well, this is the stove that Mrs. Hayden cooked on. There's a photograph of Mrs. Hayden there. And this table is This is the dining room table, and everybody gathered around, the proprietors included. It wasn't hand and foot service like a waiter, but you were like family and sat down with the Haydens. This table is an original piece. They, Mr. Hayden built it, and uh, we've got lots of photos of the people having their meals around this table. Mrs. Hayden, cooking on a wood stove and fireplace, would spend all day long making that multi-course dinner. And this is the living room. It's where most of the entertainment took place. Once again, we still have many of the original implements. These are what they used to cook over this fireplace. Note the wind-up rotisserie. It's just like a clock. It's got a big spring in it. You wound it up, pulled the release, and the two spits turned around at different speeds. So you could roast your fish over the open fireplace. And this is the back bedroom. And display many of Mr. Hayden's maps. He created maps each year and sold advertisements, which you'll see around the fringe of the map. Now, uh, what did uh, Emmett Hayden do again? He was a surveyor by trade, but in midlife decided that he wanted to be a hunting and fishing guide, and this place was his dream come true. A sportsman's paradise in the early years, huh? Yeah, some things haven't changed. Almost as much as you do. But from the ashes. Now, whose postcards are these? Well, they belong to the museum today, but a lot of them were the Hayden's postcards, collected things, and others have been brought in by various families and donated. These mountains are sure full of lakes. Too bad we aren't fishermen. I would like to stay here a long time, but going on toward Mono Lake this p.m. Dom and Bernie. Uh, contemporary to this building are things like Mammoth Tavern, which really only was burnt down in the 1980s. So there are many places contemporary to this around here that are still businesses. And this is really representative. It was a mom and pop four bedroom cabin bed and breakfast. So when we refer to Old Mammoth, we are not necessarily talking about the original Mammoth, which was the mining era, but the earliest tourism in Mammoth, which was the late 1920s and mid 1930s. Wow, there's a lot to see here, isn't there? More than you can see in just a quick tour. 
We've got a lot of things on display and we constantly rotate things, so even if you've been here before, there's yet more to see every time. We are open daily from 10 to 6 and we'll be open throughout the summer and we invite everybody to come on down. It is free, although we very much appreciate donations. So we could live as men.